subverts the normal expectations for female K-pop. What was she doing? It seems subverts the normal. It seems like almost everything Nyan does subverts the normal expectations oh, she was for laughing female K-pop. Right, everything about <laughs> I don't even rap. So what is this K-pop bitch? Yeah. What's good with the Nash Potatoes? Welcome back to the channel. And today we have a beginner's guide to Twice. This is by a channel called Gay Pop. I could not find any unhelpful guides that actually seemed like they would be helpful. Some of them were just talking about how chaotic or funny they were. And I also feel like the unhelpful ones are more so like inside jokes, more like memes for the people who are already fans of the group. So for me to find a guide that is educational, I guess, I try to lean towards a helpful ones. But the helpful ones, I read the comments of them and they kind of say that they aren't really helpful at all. So here's this one. I'm going to hope that since it says a beginner's beginner's guide it's not anything that a once should have to know and it says who is who so hopefully it's going to break down what each member is what they do personality a little bit and kind of just move on from there so with that being said let's go ahead and start this video i'll bring the screen up you guys want to support further you guys can go and join patreon if you want there's some exclusive content that you also get in return it is down below in the description as well as follow me on my social media it's on the screen that would be super super awesome now let's go ahead and jump on in and learn about twice let's get it man Bless you. Oh my gosh. okay so they're actually in this video so i wonder twice. how this is about to be presented here's a math problem for you 16 women compete on a reality show for seven spots in one girl group in the end nine women are chosen to form the group oh is this oh so this is how they 16, were born seven or nine neither Good question it's twice the group's name is twice twice <laughs> Try not to overthink it. Fact, okay, so there's nine girls and they call overthink. them twice. Why are they called twice? Oh, are they in love okay. with an alien? Are they in love with each other? Are they possibly dead and or ghosts? Wait, huh? That must be music video stuff. I've, I've not seen many. This guy just said, are they in love with each other? It actually makes me think about what I've seen on Twitter and YouTube and in the comment section. There's a bunch of shipping going on with twice. And I don't know if it's stuff that they do, how they interact with each other or, or what, but I see a lot of stuff related to shipping, like them being in love with each other. Or do they kiss each other on the cheeks often or something? Because I think I've seen that before as well. So it's interesting that he says that. I guess we'll matter. learn. It's pop. Oh, it doesn't matter. Never mind. He won't talk about it. The power of pop. Their infectious commitment to pop music in all its forms has made them the highest selling K-pop girl group ever. Ever. Read my lips. Why is he talking like that? Oh. Disgusting. I'm sorry Twice's you guys had to see that. I had to see it too. In 2015, <laughs> when they that close. under the JYP Entertainment Company. Twice was formed on a survival TV show. Kind of like The Voice, but they made a group instead of a solo artist. You yeah. get it. On the reality show 16, nine JYP Entertainment trainees. Oh, they're going over this again. Until just seven remained. Then, in a shocking and controversial turn of events, they brought two back. eliminated contestants were saved and added back into the winning yeah. group. Oh, uh, why'd you treasure box kind of did that too? Oh, that was all members. So what I learned By the way, from like a keynote thing, JYP had like standing up, he was saying that Twice was like a experimental group or something. Like he was trying something different with them and they exceeded his expectations and they blew up massively. And I would have thought that he would have probably tried to replicate that, but I think he's just fine with just having Twice, you know, just do they thing and, and be such a breadwinner for them. But I don't remember twice everything that he said in there. Charm you twice, once with their beauty and once with their catchy music. Okay, so... With the concept of having to charm you two times, visuals is their main priority, I guess. And then after that, you fall into the, the the hypnotizing nature of their talent. It reminds me of how I viewed it as well. I'm like, QT Pop, you know, even K-pop in general, you know, you got these beautiful people. And I felt like that was the main appeal. And I didn't think that it would be anything that was good in terms of the music. But when I dived in, after you know, accepting those looks. You have some great talent under there, so that's interesting. It barely makes any sense, but it definitely makes more sense than our first theory. Which oh, those are the theories, never mind. Which into pairs based on their talents, but that leaves one member out. The leader, Gio. I didn't know she was the leader. Twice got some early attention because A, their reality show aired on a major Korean TV channel, and B, JYP Entertainment was oh, already Wonder Girls famous was... for producing hugely successful K-pop girl groups. Anybody ever hear of The Wonder Girls? Oh, how about mm -hmm. Miss A? These are huge shoes to fill, people. If you're American and you're watching this video, and our channel analytics say that you probably are, then the idea of a nine-member group is probably intimidating to you. Historically, American pop has never focused on a large boy or girl group. Five is as big as we go in the oh, States. Anything beyond Cheetah that girls. is just American Idol on the Pop-Tarts tour. There's definitely a learning curve when it comes to large groups. So, many of you. so we're going so to help put names to faces as we easy to learn. who's I mean. who twice. I like the setup of this video. Nyan is the oldest member of Twice. Oldest. She's the oldest. Wow. 
I thought that her name was Nayan, but Nayan. Okay. She is known as the face of the group because of her face seniority, of her wide range of talents, and her extremely outgoing personality. Nayan oh. sings most of Twice's choruses, starts most of Twice's songs, and generally sums up what Twice is all about. We that is a lot to absorb. She is the oldest, which is fine. You know, that's okay. You accept that. But hearing that she starts most of the songs, sings most of the choruses, and she represents the whole groups, like, in, in summary, that's a lot. We love Nyan it's because crazy. she's a nut. She's a nut. It seems like almost everything Nyan does subverts the normal expectations for female K-pop. What was she doing? It seems like almost everything Nyan does subverts the normal... It seems like almost everything Nyan does subverts the normal expectations well, of female K-pop idols. And it's really awesome. Awesome. <laughs> and that's face. Awesome. awesome. Nyan is a woman okay. who makes decisions. She decides what to wear. She decides what to say. And she doesn't Love let guys. anyone put her in a box. That's fire. That's a good way to be. And that's Jung Yeon is yeah. the girl crush of twice Jung that broke the mold. Until recently, fans could easily describe Jung Yeon as the one with the short hair. This was not an accident. From the images that I've seen with her short hair, she, like this picture, she had like leather jackets, denim jackets. She kind of had like a tomboy feel to her. And she definitely looked different in comparison to all the other K-pop girls that I've seen. So I was wondering like why that was like the only girl that I've seen doing that in the industry. Because obviously you know that all the K-pop idols and stuff like that, especially the girls, they kind of have like a feminine touch to them. So it was interesting to see one like this. So let's Most see about her personality. Most images in pop music are premeditated, and Jung Yeon's role as the tomboy of Twice was chosen uh, for her. It was chosen for her. Wow. So this line here, really, our agency doesn't really like me being feminine. This kind of sucks because just like Nayeon, Nayeon, just like Nayeon, you know, being put in a box sucks. So for JYP to basically probably say, okay, you know, you have this role that is different than anybody else. So we don't want you to leave that role. We don't want you to show more femininity. Feminin femininity? Femininity? Oh, I don't know. But after years of playing her part, Jungyeon took control of her self-image. Jungyeon Ooh. is proof that there is room for authenticity in the public eye. She has always, always been brave enough to speak up and share the truth with her fans and her fellow members. That's good. Momo is the Momo. main dancer in Twice. Sure, they all dance, but Momo's abilities are Ooh. special. <laughs> Said everybody's tied. Momo has been nicknamed the dancing machine because Ooh. of her insane ability to learn any choreography faster than you can say pink Lamborghini. Pink Lamborghini. Seriously, it's oh, like she's programmed. Inside joke or something? We love Momo because oh. she's pretty much like a human sim. She always seems to be one step behind every single situation, and it's the most relatable thing she ever. About the beats Momo is one of three Japanese members in Twice. There's three? I mean, I know about Sana. Sana is I like the cutest Sana. member of Twice. Actually, she may just be the cutest human alive. I don't know. Sana's just innocent her charm and Disney princess disposition have captured the general public's attention more times than she said the phrase shy, shy, shy. <laughs> That was a viral line of Sana's that was in Twice's song, Cheer Up. To this day, it is the I think most that may have actually only charm. been Sana's that the part of Cheer Up that I've that heard. That was in Twice's song, Cheer Up. To this day, it is the most famous bit of Twice's charm, and it has been imitated countless times. It's easy for us jaded adults to assume that Sana's happy-go-lucky personality is a part of her manufactured public image. Right, bro. <laughs> Look, it's crazy when you think about stuff like that. I know I did when I first started listening. I was wondering what aspects of these idols was put upon them. You know, they were like told to do what parts are actually them. And so, you know, I'm still learning. And I guess in this case, you really would have to look into some of these things. Like, what does it say? Twice TV in the corner. So I guess they have like a TV show or a show that they live their normal life in. You would have to watch those shows in order to determine if you feel as if whatever images in their song is given to you, if that's how they really are. You stick with Twice, you will see that this woman's sunshiny view on life exists both on camera and in struggle. That's good though. Gio, Gio is the leader of Twice. If Nyon is the face of the group, Gio is the voice. This yeah, means no, she'd be singing her heart out. Group but Gio also has the strongest voice in the group and hits just about every big note they have. For example, Oh yeah! Oh yeah! 
Chapter 16, the members unanimously voted Geo as their leader because of her skills and her uniquely long period Although of time. We love Geo because she cares. She cares whether or not the staff members are treated as fairly as the stars. I like and seeing she cares that. for her fellow members. Let's be I honest, like seeing we that. need more Geos in the world. Word. Mina that's might Mina. just be the most introverted idol in all of K-pop. Oh, I don't like standing here, but I know I do. I really, I really step out too. I might be like Before Mina. Twice, Mina trained as a ballerina. Never mind. <laughs> oh, ballerina Mina. Black Swan. Ballerina Mina. Because she embodies elegance. From the Black way Swan, she like speaks, the movies. Oh, thank you. To the way she sings. To the way she walks and dances. It's Ooh, she was Tyro was a queen in a past life. Daya is Dion. well known for many things. Her viral eagle dance, her camera spotting ability, Oop. her piano playing, her known for many things. She turned her head like a damn owl. Her viral eagle dance, she her camera like a spotting bird. ability, oh her my piano God, playing, that was actually well known creepy. for many things. Her viral She's flopping her wings, flopping, flapping her wings like a bird. Viral eagle dance, and then look at her, her camera spotting ability, her piano playing, her rapping skills, and her Ooh, super dab. ability to change Music her hair color at any time without warning. What binds all these traits together is a completely unique sense Stony. of humor. One that can Shouts make us laugh quicker than anything. So she's a she's a clown. She's funny. That's good. We love Diane because of her individuality. There is no one that thinks like her, acts like her, or dances like her. She is, Ooh. in one word, irreplaceable. You're irreplaceable. To the left, left to, to the left. left. Higher. To the <laughs> left, to, to the left. <laughs> 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 what the hell, dude? Cheon is the textbook I like definition too. of a renaissance woman. She raps, Ooh, like she nasty. sings, she dances, she paints, Yeezy. she draws, she writes poetry, Our and taste. has paid the most lyrics for Twice songs out of any member. Ooh, we love Cheon be because she is That's fearless. All. One second, she... I did not know that that was her. And I was probably told that whenever I watched this video on Patreon back in 2018 when I saw... Day 6J rap for the first time, and I was like, bro, he raps? You know what I'm saying? But that's that's crazy that that's her. I did not I did not know that that was her. She's spitting bars. The next she's painting. Oh, wait, now she's vlogging. She's not she afraid vlogs. to express herself. Ooh, we got to check those out. We got to check those out. Especially when it comes to being a gosh and that darn was her. fashionista. Yeah. I liked her in that music video. Chewy and that is, is the Chewy, dichotomy the youngest. Parts. I know she that much. She's the youngest member of the group, or the mock name, which mm -hmm. usually means she would be sweet and helpful. Mm -hmm. However, Chewy has the nickname. Usually, the oops, she be beating ass. Like uh, again. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's funny. Vicious crazy. That reminds me we of uh, the Knowing Bros episode that I seen. The only Knowing Bros episode. She could have easily hidden behind her good looks her entire career because people fierce and really care about her beauty. But Chewy has said that she would like to become well known for her talents instead. But, but it, are those really accurate? Are those really accurate? That list I know is very popular, but is it accurate? Because I think PewDiePie ranked higher than like all of the BTS members actually, which is just crazy. From a timid teenager tossed into fame to a confident performer and teammate is the most inspiring transformation Bruh. in Twice. Handling fame as a teenager, I'm sure it's tough. Dance the night away. She will hurt you. Ooh. <sighs> Woo! So now you've met each member of Twice. Okay. Now let's talk about how they went from here to here. Twice hit it big with their second single, Cheer, Cheer Up. Blew Cheer them up, up, right? Was bigger than mm -hmm. it, hit. it was a sensation. It was so big that it catapulted Twice to the title of Korea's national girl group. Mm. This title was previously given to Girls' Generation. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. The best selling group of the previous K pop generation, Tiffany. Y'all heard of Tiff? Mm. From there, everything Twice touched turned to gold. And by gold, oh, that's where Tiffany's I mean from. Number one hits, baby, deal breakers. They sparked viral dance crazes, successfully crossed over into the Japanese. Market and yeah, they drop a of lot of year, Japanese and songs. Asian music awards three years in a row, which secured their place in K-pop history in less time than it took me to graduate from black, They're dude. icons, baby. Fair At enough. its core, the most universal pop music doesn't overthink things. It is very vibrant, performance-based, and, and tons of fun. Twice yeah, as music videos. I wonder if it's like that. Dominated the marketplace for almost four years. Yeah, they're like they really cute. Ambitious, relatable, and fun. However, cutesy. Twice's cultural impact is often limited to nothing more than the term cutesy. Ooh. There's no denying <laughs> it. They are very cute. Dude. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, because that is what made me not want to check them out at first. But after I listened to a couple songs, oh, look at the buns. After I listened to a couple songs, I was like, oh, this is Loki Bops. You know what I'm saying? And I remember like putting a post on my on my community tab. I was like, twice Loki hard. Like they really are. And I'm glad that I looked beyond, I guess, you know what I'm saying, to check out the other songs. But Twice's story does not begin or end with being cute. Bottom line is this, being hyper feminine is not shameful. Sure, it is just as it's just a personal as taste, forms of preference. Expression. Let's sum it up this way. To listen to Twice's music is to follow the story of a woman growing up and retaining her childlike passion. Okay, so I wonder if the older songs is more cute, more innocent, more young, and then compared to the things that I liked, which made me want to check out the older stuff, is a more matured sound, hopes to find love, more matured and then falls message. For someone that breaks her heart. Afterwards, she takes control of her own story. No more waiting around for an answer. Twice That's good. have already chosen the ending to their story. Huh. And that sounds like it's the end of that, to be honest. Yeah. All right. This seems like this is done. Thank you so much for making that video for my- Yeah, bringing the screen down, man. Hopefully you guys enjoy checking that out with me. Honestly, if I had to point out any members that caught my eye the most, Mina, Shayung, Dayun, uh, Momo, Gio, I've already named literally five of the seven girls, which is, or nine, five of the, seven, nine? Yeah, so we'd have to watch more content, watch more music videos to see if one bias can stand from this group. I, I really would like to find a group where one member specifically really just catches and keeps my attention. Like, I, I just wonder if it could happen, man. It's always like multiple or the whole entire group. So we will see if that happens. Next video will be tomorrow. It will be a music video more than likely. If you guys have any funny compilations, any crack videos or something from this group, let me know down below in the comment section because this week from the 13th to the 17th, we're checking out twice and only twice. I have a couple music videos down on my notebook. I don't know where it is, but we're going to start with the debut song and then move on from there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.